This is our property near Almont, Ontario that we're looking to sell. On the right, the house, it's 1,500 square feet plus a 700 square foot garage. The blue building is a 30 by 40 foot workshop with 16 foot ceilings. There's also a few older sheds that I've been using for storage. And that's me right there. And now let's have a look at the rest of the 118 acre property. So this is flying back towards the river. There's about 5,000 feet of riverfront and we're approaching the edge of the property here. We're above the uh, southeast corner of the property. The uh, property ends at the line of bush that you see next to the driveway on the right. And now we're turning to the northwest and flying along the river downstream. The shoreline on the right side is all part of the property and the deed says the island also belongs to it. The part next to the river is a lot of bush lot. Right here there's actually a lot of cedars. And here we have a flat grassy area, though that is on the floodplain. And here we're approaching the uh, back bush lot part, just past the corner of the fields. Most of that is part of the property and that's all hardwoods in there. Quite a lot of sugar maple in there, but uh, really all mixed hardwoods. The slightly yellower field to the left of this line of trees is the neighbors. The field here is rented out to a farmer who currently planted soy on there. And now flying back upstream along the river, the left side is the property, the right side is not. The area that we're just flying above right now is actually pretty neat to explore on foot. It has been quite dry lately, so the river is a little bit low. And this is the homestead from the northwest. Uh, the fields here are all rented out to a local farmer. And this is turning towards the river again, which is mostly obstructed by the trees. And this is above the bay where the island is, and turning towards the right here, this is an area where it's pretty easy to get at the river, and the previous owner's family used to keep a lot of trailers here, and they'd hang out here in the summer. And right here is a path where you can drive down to the river. And here you can see the path that goes from the homestead down to the river. It actually crosses a bit of a creek. It's very shallow and rocky where the road crosses the creek, so you can just drive straight across it. And here's the uh, big 1200 square foot shop again, behind it, an old barn that's in rough shape, and the storage building, an old garage, and the house again. So unfortunately we need to move and we're hoping we'll find a buyer who will appreciate the uh, uniqueness of this property. Uh, for more details, please see the video description.